Hello everyone and welcome back to a new episode on Timbleweed Park Where we left off, we were controlling Dolores and trying to uh, figure out what had happened to uh, her dad Of course, we have control over uh, the previous characters as well But right now, we are thinking of taking Dolores on a quick journey through uh, the town and chatting with uh, everyone and see um, see if we can get some more information um, and maybe find out how to uh, continue our journey so uh, let's head out of here okay um, let's go this way uh, I'm gonna try to go through every single store in the uh, town and uh, chat with everyone maybe we can find out some new stuff that we may have missed in the past hello Dolores um, let's see I'm not sure why I stopped by that's okay um, I know times are tough I for you we already talked with Natalie so I think I need to go yeah as far Thanks as I know talking, we already Natalie. talked with bye, Dolores. Natalie so bye let's, Natalie um, let's head on, head on out to the uh, the next one I presume it's gonna be the post office Okay, let's talk with uh, the, the post worker. Hi, Dolores. You back for some yeah, we'll more see of my great Why not? postal let's jokes? Let's start the uh, episode funny, eh? I'd love to hear a postal joke. Why did the mailman go into therapy? I have no idea. Because he had post-traumatic <laughs> stress. <laughs> oh, God. He's got so many jokes, I guess. That's funny, George. She doesn't find funny, though. Let's hear another one. I'd love to hear some more postal jokes. Why did the mailman win Postal Worker of the Year? Not a clue. He kept pushing the envelope mm. of his field. Okay. <laughs> Not a good one. <laughs> good one, uh, George. Let's see, uh, how's life at the post office, dude? How is life at the post I office? Busy, 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 You'll Dolores. think he likes it. Being a federal employee isn't always as glamorous as it sounds. Not that I'm complaining. You know I love serving hmm. my country. Your country thanks you for your service. You're welcome there, Dolores, but there's no need to thank me. I didn't get into postal work for the accolades. Why'd you do, though? Of course not. How silly of Let's me. Let's see. Why did, you, why did you choose to become a mailman, dude? Why did you choose to become a mailman? Well, first of all, let me stop you right there, Dolores. You don't choose the path to this uniform. <laughs> it chooses you. I see. Postal work is a calling, sort of like being a priest or a superhero. Well, I'm stoked to know that the mail is in safe hands. I'd take a wow. bullet for your packages, Dolores. Don't you worry. Okay. Anything new in town since I left? Not really, unless you count more stores closing down. Yeah, I'm getting ghost town vibes to the max. I don't see things getting better now that old Chuck has passed. My condolences, by the way. Let's see, uh, you don't think the town might be better off without Uncle Chuck? You don't think the town might be better off without my uncle? What? Dolores, why would you say a thing like that? Jeez, Your people uncle brought really, this really town really prosperity like we'd never seen. Without him, we're like a robot I mean, he without did ours. created some awesome stuff, but that AI, nobody knows about it, and... I guess yeah, I just I'm, saw I'm a darker, darker side, side to that story, Chuck. too. Dolores, don't you speak ill of the dead. I know you're probably just confused with the grief, but people in this town loved your uncle, so watch what you say. I won't hold it against you, but some folks out there can get pretty nasty if you get on the wrong side of them. I guess. Okay. Thanks, George. So this is all we have to chat with George, great I guess. To see you love your job. Let's see you, uh, George. Carry on. Come back let's soon, at, Dolores. Let's look at this. It's the math trophy I won when I was 12 and attending a summer program at Thomas to... Bodman School of Mathematics. It's made out of solid uh -huh. pewter. Except for the infinity I'm symbol, this is which is pure good titanium. Information we may need in the future. I uh, just want to say, I just want to check everything we got before we get to use them, just because, just because in the past we uh, had that bottle of, uh, I don't know what it was, uh, the drink, and we, in order for us to use it, we had to actually look at it before we could use it. So that was a, a pain to figure out. It's a key. Hmm. It says yeah, office we gotta find on an it. Office, I guess. It's the stub of a check that was made out to an attorney, Brant Balowick. 
payment mm -hmm. in full I mean, for I know what I need reading. to do with her now. We need to get in the um, in the hotel and chat the with door. the uh, lawyer. But the problem is we cannot get inside there without a ticket. And at the moment, I'm not really sure how we get to win a ticket. The monkey paw knows. Welcome to the Thimbleweed Park Occult Bookstore, Dolores. The Bubblefish bubble has, has a banana. banana. Hmm. It's good to see you again, Marina. Dolores, you little mojo bean. So pleased to see you back in town. If anyone has given you any trouble in the big city, you say the word and I'll put a hex on them. I've got a really good one I'm dying to use that will turn their oh bathing suit parts <laughs> green. That's not good. What is it with you and those totally tripping hexes? The I like to get creative with my craft the loves here. Her on an unrelated note, do you know anyone who deserves a permanent oh talking God. sit on their face? Oh, Marina. Enough with the curses already. Jeez. <laughs> Although, if my sister keeps acting like a total bin bat, uh, I might come back to you. I'm guessing you're gonna have to come back. I guess you heard about my uncle? Ah, oh, yes, dear. And I'm sorry for your loss. Are you, though? If you are sad, then I am sad for you, Dolores. Although I can't pretend that the idea of Chuck roasting in the fires of hell doesn't provide me with some amusement. That's like way Some harsh, didn't Marina. Really love him. But to be perfectly honest, I don't really know how Marina to feel didn't right now. Really like Chuck, apparently. She might not be the only one. People not all really of them. loved my uncle, didn't they? It was a mixed bag, my dear. Most of the town adored so Chuck. It seems, but yeah. There were many of us who despised the man and sensed the darkness okay. within. What? darkness within. What did you mean by the darkness my uncle had? Chuck exuded an aura of greatness, but that greatness was always balanced on a knife's edge of good and evil. The man was ruthless and fell into the dark a long time ago. I thought he wanted me to be happy, but really he just wanted me to keep his legacy alive. I idolized my uncle. But if that's all I was to him, then I wonder if I ever really knew the man at okay. all. So I guess this is all we can talk about. Goodbye, with her. Madam Marina. Come back anytime, um, Dolores. Let's carry on in the city, let's see. What more we can did not discover. Uh, we did chat with uh, Willie, so there's no reason to go back to the prison to chat with him. Um Let's go this way. Let's go in the uh, diner. Oh, wait. The bank is open. Open. Okay, so the bank is open. This wasn't open before. Impressive. What do we have here? Walked bank flyer. Can you pick this up? Let's look at it. Open an account oh, okay. today. Okay, so this is how we get, get a free toaster. toaster. I guess we're going to have to open up a bank, a bank account. It's just after five o'clock. No. Can we pick it up? That no. doesn't seem to work. I don't want to no. pick that up. I can't. Uh, I can't pull that. That's the uh, safe in the back there. There's a key there. Hmm. This is the factory key. And why is it in the bank? Hmm. Interesting. Uh, let's have a chat here with uh, this guy. Hello, Safely First Savings. Your money is in our hands. It's a small wooden <laughs> that, figurine. Excuse me, Miss Edmund. What are you doing? I just wanted to take a look at your paperweight. That paperweight means a lot to me. It was a special okay. gift from... Well, it was a special gift. Feel free to look at it without touching. Uh... Is this an obscene phone call? I need to keep them on mm. long enough to trace the call. Maybe we need to chat with them? To have someone call the bank, maybe? Hello, and safety first savings. While he's Your not money is in our hands. Maybe we can grab uh, the What's key with all the factory or the animal paperweight. Let's I chat need with to him keep first. them on long enough uh, to trace the call. To. How can I help, Miss uh, Edmund? Let's see. Can I still access the family safe deposit box? I'm afraid not. 
Your uncle had your access revoked shortly after you left town. I guess you can't tell me if my dad made any withdrawals or deposits in the last couple of weeks, either? No. That would be a breach of our client's confidentiality. Okay. Fair Let's enough. See. Do I still have a checking account here? I've been cashing my checks at the convenience store, because I was pretty sure my uncle had control of my accounts. Your uncle did close all accounts associated with your name. I see. Um, let's see what kind of credit can a game developer get? What Maybe kind of can credit get some can a game developer get? A account. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh... Oh, you aren't kidding. Well, you could get one of our basic federal beige credit cards with a $100 limit and an APR of 1,232%. No way, Jose. Okay. I think I'll pass. Let's see, how's the bank doing? How are things at the bank? Very well. Thank you for asking, Miss Edmund. I thought maybe with all those businesses closing, the bank might be struggling a little? Oh, not at all. Your uncle had more than enough for us to weather the town's economic downturn. I wasn't aware Uncle Chuck was doing so well. I mean, yeah, the pillow was making money with other for years. things. True, but in his final years, your uncle began liquidating several valuable assets. It was more than enough to keep him afloat. Huh. What assets did my uncle liquidate? I couldn't possibly say, Miss Edmund. Bank client confidentiality and all. Maybe you'll find out more about it at the will okay. reading. Maybe. Goodbye, Mr. El Palo. Come back soon, Miss Edmund. Uh, let's see what happens if we switch to uh, her. And, uh, oh no, never mind, because we don't have a phone book nearby. Hello, 198.7 oh, FM KSCUM listeners. DJ Cassie here. We interrupt our hostile takeover of the airwaves with this important announcement. I have four free four. ThimbleCon 87 tickets to give away. First caller who can answer our trivia questions wins. And now back to our regularly scheduled hostile takeover. Holy moly, let's uh, use it. Oh, uh, no, no, no. Wait, I don't know uh, the phone number. Look at this. Uh, 4753. 4753. Let's first call 4753. 4753. Uh, I want to chat with the uh, bank. First, you see if I if I if I can distract the Hi, guy. Hi, this is Brant Bailiwick, JD. Do you have legal problems? Oh, he's then you've come to the up. right place. I'm out of the office today at Thimble oh, no, Company. never mind. Seven, My bad. This is not the bank. This is actually the um the lawyer. So yeah, let's skip to. Not sure where. Uh, let's start from the bottom up. Okay, so it's 4028. 4028. Use this 4028. Let's see if this is gonna change anything. Okay, so this works. Perfect. Hello, safely first savings. Your money is in our hands. Is anyone there? Um Yes, I'm your friendly obscene caller. Okay. No, you're not. The obscene caller makes a lot of filthy noises and moaning sounds. Now, mm. goodbye. Okay, so he's gonna. What was the phone number? Um, uh, 4028. Okay, let's try that. 4028. Let's try it again then. Hello, Safely First Savings. Your money is in our hands. Is anyone there? Uh, open account, order two pizzas. Let's see if we can open an I'd account. I'd like to open an account. I don't believe you. Please oh. stop wasting my time. Now, goodbye. Okay, so we're probably gonna have to call maybe with the clown because the clown is quite uh, weird. Or maybe we need to call with the actual ghost. Uh, but first, let's actually look at the uh, phone book. Let's see um, if you find the radio phone number. No, it's Pigeon Plumbing. I really want to try and we're gonna take it and see how that goes. Come on. 
Where's the radio phone number? Nothing. So this is a, oh, this is the hint round, never mind, for hints. This is Bellic. Um, this is not helping. What's the radio phone number then? I mean, why didn't she say anything? Um, hmm. Let's head on back here. Look at this. Okay. I wish there. I wish there was an easier way to find only the. Uh, company phone numbers so it's 4028 4028 let's see where the clown is located 4028 phone it says Votron 3000 for when you need to handle hundreds of phone calls there's nothing to use here I can't pull that I can't push that I don't want to fix it, it says Votron 3000. That does. I can't open hmm. that. Use this. No. Stop! Stop! Birds! Use. Um. Nah, he doesn't got anything he can use. I uh, just want it. No, this is the FM. Uh, I'm transmission. not going in there. I'm not going in there. They did a whole half hour hatchet. I'm not going in there. They did a whole half hour hatchet job call in special on my last performance. Okay, never mind. Uh, let's go in the hotel. Can we use the phone here, maybe? Uh, use the phone. Okay, so we can. It's 4028? Yeah, it's 4028, actually. 4028. Okay, and let's see. Maybe the clown... Hello, uh, safely first savings. Your money is in our hands. Can is anyone there? Him. Um... No, can you no? Yes! Nah, this is I'm not gonna work. An obscene caller! No, you're not. The obscene caller makes a lot of filthy now. Okay, uh, that's not gonna work. Let's try with, uh. With, uh, the ghost then. Let's see if this works. Um. Zap this. Okay, so this works. It's uh, 4028. There we go. I bet this is gonna work. Hello, safely first savings. Your money is in our hands. Is anyone there? Um. Yeah, that's this. Mm. Is that you again? <laughs> um. <laughs> it sounds like you, but I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's. Well, I'm almost certain you're the same obscene caller as before. Almost. Okay. Mm, let's make this one. Mm. It is you. <laughs> That's right. Keep it your moaning. I'll get you. <laughs> Perfect. Keep this talking. is what we wanted. I've almost traced you. That's exactly what we noise. wanted. Let's check on Dolores. Are, are you coming on to me? Uh, let's pick up the key okay let's pick this up Moan, as huh? well that's right and keep it up and that's it moan 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 we don't need him anymore i guess this moan, was huh? all we needed that's right keep it up uh, let's get out of here before he notices we took his stuff uh so we got the paperweight let's check it's it out it's a small wooden figure with mat carved into the base mat carved into the base okay what is this? It's a key. It says Pillow Factory. Maybe this is gonna be the key that's gonna actually allow us to get inside the Pillow Factory. Okay, before we go in, let's um, let's have a chat here. Welcome back, Dolores. How's life being an important game developer? In the meantime, Franklin is actually moaning on the phone with uh, the bank guy. That's uh, that's uh, interesting. <laughs> eh, it's not too bad. Long hours, low pay. Boss is a jerk. It's good to have you back. I just uh, wanted to say, I know your Uncle Chuck was kind of a dick. 
You talking about me? Shut up, Dave. Look, right now the talking will about is you, a Dave. Just move. keep on rolling your sure burgers. I'm still proud. I'd like to think so. He just wasn't himself those last few years. His obsession with restarting the pillow factory, long hours in his workshop and vanishing for days. Anyway. Hmm. Um. I'd like to order some food. Sure, everything's on the menu board. What do you want? Let's try a salad, although I'm salad. pretty sure she doesn't have salad. anything except for the uh, I'd like to order some food. hot dogs there. Sure, everything's on the menu board. What do you want? Uh, I'll have the cherry pie. Sorry, yep. some uh, Let's order. I'd like to order some. Sure. Yeah, let's just get a hot dog. I'll have a hot dog. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move him out. We're trying to move him out. Eat up, hun, while it's still hot. <laughs> this hot dog. Gotta go. Yep. She's gotta go too. <laughs> oh, you know what? Good thing I did that because uh, I just discovered a speck of dust. <sighs> let's add that to our collection. <sighs> I feel better now. Good. Wait. No, 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 no. Please didn't disappear. Oh, perfect. It didn't disappear. Pick that up. There we go. Uh, let's head on back to the notes and see. We need 24 more. Okay. So we're done with the hot dogs. Oh, Secret wait. pizza meeting. Uh, chat with this guy. You want a free pizza coupon? Yeah, please. Wink, wink. Um. What's the deal with the pizza coupon? You want a free pizza coupon? Wink, wink. What's okay, the wink, wink? but what do I get with it? <laughs> um, a coupon? <sighs> <laughs> nice costume. Thanks. It protects me from the signals. Okay. Uh, do we know each other? Do we know each I other? I don't know you. Wait a second. You look familiar. <laughs> Weren't we in freshman chem class together? What's your name? Uh, let's say Lenore, her sister. Lenore. I know who you are. <laughs> You're Dolores oh, Edmund. Crap. You and your uncle Chuck were working on my exactly who we are. to remove our free will before he died. What? What? Don't play dumb with me. I know you put bugs in our pillows. You'll never take me alive. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what a weird though. But uh, he dropped something, so let's see what this is. Looks like a pizza flyer. Pick it up. Hmm, twenty dollars, all you can eat. Free movie Tron movie rental. Oh, okay. So this is a free movie Tron movie rental. Maybe we can uh, give this uh, to someone, and they're gonna give us a movie Tron for rent. Only pizza in town. <laughs> best pizza is cut out. The best word. Thimbleweed Pizza, this is a radio station. Drop by our secret. Or is this a secret meeting? Don't touch the electric fence. Code 154410. Okay. So we just got a uh, code out of this that's probably gonna get us in somewhere. 154410. Okay, good to know. We cannot turn this. But uh, we'll try to see uh, if we can rip this off. Yeah, let's see. Pull. I no, can't pull push. that. No, I use. can't push that. Use, use, no. Okay, um, let's head on this way first. Yeah, and there's the tube, uh, YouTube store here. And we had the weird call. Um, this is the bus station, but there's nothing new here we may need. There's no, there's okay. no path beyond this point. Let's head on back. Uh, let's use this and go inside here. Let's see if something changed here, but I don't think so. We may not need, uh, we may not have what we need just yet for the uh, arcade. Um, let's go in the YouTube store. Let's have a chat with her. She's too far what? away. Come on, Ricky. Hi, Dolores. Oh, let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Welcome to Ricky's YouTube. How can I help you? That's a great name. <laughs> it's been a long time. What happened to your bakery? It's been a long time. What happened to your bakery? Oh, I had to pivot. 
people used to line up around the block for my muffins and pies, but over the past couple of years, business has really slowed down. I'm not complaining, though, no, because um, it's given me an opportunity to go stuff. in a whole new direction. And I can see how busy you are. Oh, Dolores, you, always, you should see how busy it is. Okay. Nice tubes. Uncle Chuck would have been... Oh, yeah, your Uncle Chuck's okay, my hero. Okay, I love them as well. Okay, I uh, have to... nothing new here. So, let's uh, leave town, I guess, and go um, for a quickie pie, because we may have some stuff there that we need. That does uh, let's go in the bathroom first. Nothing new here, but I would like to try to get this. I'll use the vacuum puller with this. It won't work on that size uh -huh. tube. It's for a TX1138 size tube. That's a WC67. Isn't it WC67 the one uh, we fixed? Um, let's head on back real fast, see if we can take that maybe. But I'm, uh, I'm thinking if we do that, we may close down that street. Yeah, let's try and use this on this. It won't work on that size what? tube. It's for a TX1138 size tube. That's a WC67. Okay, so we need a TX1138, I guess. Okay. Uh, so that didn't work. Uh, what is this? Let's look at this. Oh, it's a so TX one one need. three eight tube, and it looks burned Use out. Use this with that. Yep. So that's what we need to take off. Uh, let's head on back to the tubes. Uh, let's check this out first. It's it a TX one one three eight tube, and it looks okay. burned. Let's see. Maybe we can get a replacement for it. Go inside here. Then uh, chat with Lee again. Hi, Dolores. Oh, let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Welcome to Ricky's okay. YouTube. Oh, nothing we can I have chat to... with her. Let's give her this. She doesn't hmm, want it. She doesn't want it. Um. Then what? We, what? What are we gonna do with burnt TX uh, 1138? Then. Hmm. I'm not sure. Uh. Oh no! No no. Darn. Let's go back. Uh, where do we find another one to replace? Um, before we uh, do anything, let's see. Who's this? I'm thinking to go in the corner's office. Let's see, these are probably. Yeah. It's an these SR 5858 tube. In these are too big. It's a door. I'm curious, uh, how are we gonna find a new one? I mean, the tube store is the only place I could think of right now. Hmm. Oh, let's head on inside here. Welcome to Quickie hey, Pal. Buddy. Can I help you find Can anything? Hi, Dolores. Uh, no. See you, Alan. Come back. Let's, uh, give him the, uh, flyer. He doesn't want he doesn't it. doesn't want it. Look at it, then. Free Movietron movie rental. But where do we get the Movietron movie rental? That's the question. Probably we need to find its pizza shop. They will give it to us. I'm not sure where to find it, though. Can we pizza? And it shows the antenna. Hmm. Drop by our secret meeting. Don't touch the electric fence. Okay, so this is not it. Uh, let's give him this. Let's see. He doesn't want it. No, Hi, no, Dolores. No, 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 no. Sorry. See ya. Come. Uh, no, let's get out of here. Let's use the map. Uh, the hotel, oh, circus, radio station. Trailhead, Edmund Mansion. Let's go to the trailhead. Oh, what the? So there's people that know where to go. Maybe we need to follow them. Let's see. What? Where is he? Oh, crap. 
I don't like the bear sound. Where did that guy disappear? Come on. I just wanted to follow him. That doesn't seem to work. No way am I touching a thimbleberry <laughs> bush without proper protective gloves. Okay, so we're gonna need some protection gloves in order to do that. Um, oh, you know what? Maybe we can use this with this. I don't no. want to do that. It would make it look red. I don't want to do that. It Doesn't would make it wanna. look red. Okay. Um, how about... Uh, let's see. We don't have anything. Uh, I was thinking to maybe put something in the water. And this way when people pass by, they would actually walk through the puddle and leave a uh, step step marks uh, along the way. This way we know exactly where to go, but we don't have anything just yet. Let's see, maybe we can put this. No. I don't want to waste it on that. Okay, maybe we're gonna have to come back here. Not, not just yet. Um... This is the mansion. Let's try to go to the mansion. Oh, this guy. Never gonna stop digging my house. No, come Hi, on, Doug. stop chatting with what him. Are you oh, oh, okay. He's not saying anything good. Um, pick up some woods. Once yeah, is once enough. Is enough. I, uh, I agree. Let's go back inside the house. Let's go in the kitchen. Doesn't seem to be anything good in the kitchen that we need. So, um, okay. Great. Now I'm carrying around a handful of black Can soot. Use this with maybe this. No. That will just make a big use mess. This with uh, the trophy. No. That will just make a big mess. Use this with the soda. That will just make a big now, mess. How about we go back then? Let's see if this is gonna work. Go back here and let's try to put the ash in the water. Let's see. Uh, use. Oh, there's a guy. Ash with the water. That will just make That's a big mess. That's the point. That will just make hmm. a big mess. What? Seriously, there's a speck of dust right there. I would have never seen it if I wouldn't just put the pointer in there that was random oh god that bear sound oh this is not easy nope no luck um well, this is not gonna work then oh uh, let's head back to the mansion mansion let's head on back upstairs uh, let's go inside here. Let's see uh, if we can actually. Uh, oh, hold up! What is this? Um, look at the uh, bulb. No, where are you going? Come back! No, apparently we cannot take that. Um, I'm yeah, at the staircase. Should I use let's it? Let's try to look at this. Safety first bank. No, we don't want the bank. We want the um. Uh, we want the uh, attorney or lawyer. Oh, actually, we don't want that because we know exactly where he is. He's at the um. Yeah, never mind. Uh, let's have a chat. Let's. Have you see. called the stupid? Well, no. I think don't. Oh, uh, how do we find the phone number? That's our uh, issue now. Uh, we need to find the uh, phone number for the radio station in order for us to call and try to win uh, the ticket. Um, let's go inside here. Hey, uh -huh. if you're here for the contest, call in like everyone else. But good luck, the lines are jammed. Mm. We interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop music with this important message. What's the phone You're listening number? to KSCUM 198.7 on your FM dial. And now back to our special hostile takeover song. 198.7. Let's try calling 198.7 actually. I use 
That doesn't seem to be like a lucky number. No. Well, let's try calling operator. No. Huh. If you use this, this is just gonna jam it. Push, push, push. Okay. Well, this is getting us stuck again. Um, how do we... I wonder what the guest is up to now. Stairs. Shut up in there! Thimble we Con's will too schedule. have colonized Mars by 27... Welcome to ThimbleCon 87! Later tonight, friends of the Clown Lookalike Contest. Big prizes. <laughs> Listen to Case come to win free ThimbleCon 87 tickets. Okay. Ah! None shall pass without show... Oh, and welcome to... Let's see. How can I get a... The radio is doing a competition to win tickets. You could try your luck by calling up when they announce it. Yeah, dude, but the problem is... I don't know the phone number. None. Oh, and... Hmm. How can I get a... The radio... You could... Tr no. Demo count 87. How do we find out the phone number? That's what I want to know. Uh, it's a strange tool. It's got a print, a print kit. It's got a map. Why do I keep getting stuck? Let's try go inside here. Uh, nothing, nothing. I've got my eyes on you. Talk with Dolores a little bit. Hello, Agent Ray. Program. I don't program. Whatever you want. Program hard. Is program. If you have a logical mind. I heard you had to be uh, really good at math. I heard. Not really. When games go 3D. <laughs> but that's 20 years ago. I stopped caring back. Okay. I was just We're trying. We're both trying to get into the factory. Maybe we can team up. We're both trying. I think that's a goal. Well, it is your patriotic okay. duty. It's quite a large inheritance. You're up. That's quite a lot. I'm sure Lenore will get most of it. Ah, okay. Uh, let's. Bye. Use Lenore since we're stuck a little bit here. We don't know what the phone number is. Uh, let's uh, go to um, the abandoned factory since we got the keys and see if we can open up the gates. There we go. Okay, danger condemned by no trespassing. Let's use the key with this. Perfect. The key fits. I knew that was gonna work. Um. Let's walk to the factory. I need to keep my eyes on uh, hidden uh, places uh, just in case there's something that's behind them. I learned my lesson twice now with the speck of dust and with a chainsaw. Walk to time clock. Let's look at it. Uh, 505. Oh, you have to put something in here. I think this is a tube actually. Or something. Let's try to use this. Not much I can do with use. a burned out vacuum tube. I cannot access my uh, inventory now. Hmm. It's probably a. Uh, actually, I don't, I don't know. I, I'm not sure what we need for that just yet. Hmm. Can we use this with uh, this? That? No. I don't want to do that. It would make decoder. it look red. That's a decoder. That's a door. It's locked. And there's use no push, handle. Push. It's oh, locked. No. I don't want it's locked. And no. there's no handle. It doesn't work in that. Okay, nothing hiding behind the boxes here. And uh, let's make a dust. Please pick it up, yes, thank you. Pilotronics, the 
Mechaniz the mechanized pillow factory of the future. 1954. Okay, and this is the other walk to time clock. Let's use this and let's look at it actually. Okay, so we need something to be plugged in here, probably, and on the other one as well. Hmm, and we're probably gonna need two people doing it at the same time or something. It's a Dortron 3000, uh -huh. but it's missing its tube. So this is gonna need a tube as well. Use the tube with this. No. Not much I can do with a burned out vacuum Let's tube. Suck it? No. Not much I can do with a Look that doesn't it. seem to work. It's a tube socket for Uncle Chuck's secret PF001 mm -hmm. Tron so that's tube. That's the type of Tron we need for that. And I'm guessing if we push this, it's not gonna It does happen nothing happens. Anything. Okay. When when those security lights are all green, the door can okay. be unlocked. Um I think this is gonna be it for our adventure so far. But uh, don't worry, we'll uh, get back with another adventure, with a new episode soon. So, uh, as always, thank you guys for watching. Do not forget to subscribe, leave a like and a comment down below. And uh, see you again next time. Okay, bye!